Understanding your mindset and how it affects your mental health is a balancing act. You don't want to be too close-minded because that blocks you off from all of the possibilities of life, but at the same time, you don't want to be too open-minded because then your brains will fall out. Today, I'm talking about how your mindset affects your well-being, and I'm sharing six tips to help you challenge your mindset to improve your well-being. So, let's talk about mindset. Hi, I'm Jeremy Godwin, and I talk about looking after your mental health with simple advice based on quality research and personal experience from someone who actually understands what it's like to go through mental health challenges. How you think about yourself and the world around you has an enormous impact on how you experience this thing that we call life. Do you believe that you're a victim of fate or do you believe that you're the one in the driver's seat and that it's up to you to navigate your way through the obstacles that are inevitably thrown our way? There's a saying that's been floating around for a long time in one form or another and it's if you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. And it's incorrectly attributed to everyone from Henry Ford to Tony Robbins, but it's actually believed to have been first said by a a woman called Jessie Potter speaking at a conference in 1981. But anyway, back to the point. I share that because the same idea applies to your mindset. If you always think the way that you've always thought, then you'll end up with the same patterns emerging time and time again. If that's happening, then you always have the option of changing your situation by changing your mindset. And that takes time, effort, and perseverance, like everything worth having does. But it can also completely change your life. Your values and beliefs are directly linked to your mindset because they're the foundation of how you view the world and your place in it. And hand in hand with that is whether or not you default to a positive view of things or a negative view of things. Now look, I'm not going to tell you how to believe things or what to believe because that's completely up to you. But I will share one of Henry Ford's most famous quotes. Whether you believe you can do a thing or believe you can't, you are right. So much of what we do or don't do in our lives comes down to your mindset. And it's all too easy to let our negative thoughts and our fears hold us back from trying new things or chasing our dreams. However, here's the thing. You are never powerless to take action in your own life, no matter how small that action might be. And so the risk of having a negative mindset is it's easy to just kind of like throw your hands up in the air and believe that life is happening to you rather than something that's just happening around you. You are the one that is in control of what you do or do not do with your life. And you are the one who gets to shape your life simply based on what you choose to do next. And so with all that in mind, here are some tips to help you challenge your mindset. First, always remember your mindset is a choice. And it's a choice you need to make many times a day, every day. You don't just do an I dream of genie blink and change it in an instant. It takes making conscious decisions every single day to be positive and to focus on the positives and then backing that up with the choice of your words, actions and feelings. Why? Because what you focus on is what you focus on. So whether you look for the positive or you look for the negative, what you seek is what you will find. Okay. Next, choose a growth mindset. And that means actively looking for the positives in any situation and choosing to treat challenges and negative stuff as an opportunity to grow rather than being something that's insurmountable. Every situation has something to teach you, even if that lesson is just what not to do in the future. Now that doesn't mean that you just ignore the negatives or pretend they're not happening, but instead it means that you reframe them. And that helps you to then challenge yourself to push forward instead of feeling like you're stuck wherever you are, because without growth, you will stagnate. Okay, next, positive self-talk. And I say this because many of the things that we say to ourselves or think about ourselves are so negative. And hopefully we wouldn't be like that with other people, especially, you know, the people that we care about the most in the world. So why do we do it to ourselves? Be kind to yourself. Because if you can't be kind to you, then how can you expect other people to be kind to you? Okay, next, focus on what you can do. 
And by that, I mean what you can do rather than what you cannot do. Because sometimes we kind of default to this place of fear and insecurity, or things might feel so big and challenging that we just don't know where to start. You don't need to have everything figured out. You just need to put one foot in front of the other and focus on what is within your own direct control, which is what you will choose to do and say. And speaking of that, my next point is take small steps because all things take time, effort, and perseverance. Look, there are going to be times when you feel frustrated or defeated. I had that kind of mindset today because I've been making videos on YouTube for a year and a half and my channel is growing so slowly that it's like watching paint dry. I'm not going to lie, this morning I very nearly threw in the towel and took a break from videos for a month or two because I just felt so disheartened. But I decided to refocus my mindset on simply taking one small step at a time and just making videos that I enjoy. And whatever will be, will be. You can't control everything. And if you try to get too far ahead of yourself, then you'll drive yourself up the wall. So just focus on the step that you're on and maybe the next small step, but that's it. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. All things take time. Okay, next, give yourself permission to think about things differently. How much of your identity and mindset are wrapped up in old ways of thinking? Look at your life from a different perspective. Look, let's be honest here. You might find it difficult to let go of old opinions or beliefs because it's going to take you into unknown territory. But that is where opportunity awaits. My view of the world is that if you're someone who does no harm, is kind, and who gives more than you take, then you're a pretty good person. So instead of being hung up on whatever your specific belief system is or how that fits in with your identity, instead, just take things one day at a time and consider how you can be that person who chooses to prioritize kindness to others and to yourself above all things, because that will shift your mindset towards more positive places. The choice is yours, as it is with all things related to your well-being. So what choice will you make today? Let me know in the comments below. And one way to build a more positive mindset is to be more accepting of the things that you are completely unable to control. And I talked about how to do that in this video. Watch it now for more simple tips. And while you're at it, subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Plus, check out my weekly podcast, Let's Talk About Mental Health. It's linked in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care and talk to you next time.